This may be the only time we see the Louisville Bat mascot, so how's it going and thumbs up. Take care. Hi, this is Mark Vikas, the Ballpark Hunter. We're at Louisville Slugger Field in Louisville, Kentucky. Pee Wee Reese is right behind me. I got this awesome brewery slash barbecue place called Against the Grain. And I got this awesome baseball stadium behind me. A lot has changed since our last visit. You know, I've had two videos from this uh, ballpark, uh, but it's been about five, six years since we have last seen what's inside here. Major changes have taken place. So you're gonna see some a little bit new, a little bit old, but hopefully a whole lot of fun. So stay tuned for this week's episode of The Ballpark Hunter. We're inside a protective area here. Unlike most minor league ballparks where the box offices are on the outside, also against the grain, brewery and smokehouse, a great place to visit on or not on a game day. Get the Burgoo. And the history of Louisville is on here with former players from uh, all decades of baseball here in Louisville. I'm not quite sure what this is, but there's some goodies for the kids, goodies for the adults. A lot of history here. We have the Redbirds home and away from the 80s. And there's the old uh, Cardinal Stadium there. They used to be home of the football team and look how many people there were for a baseball game. And they had those Yellow, purple, and green jerseys. Good Lord, those were terrible. A little bit better look. That's a good look, just purple and white. And you have a kid zone. So I think this is not the official kid zone, but an auxiliary kid zone. All air conditioned. We are able for a moment of silence and for the delay of tax as a tribute to the men and women who have been the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. All right, here's the concourse, Holiday World, Splash and Safari, a very fun place to take your kids. And you can spin the wheel and see what you get. Kiosk 115. Don't know what you can get there, but something. Former Todd Frazier, Tom River, Tom's River, New Jersey, Rutgers alumni, right? Here's the Louisville Bat logo, uh, mascot. It has an inflatable. D.D. Gregorius, that's right, he's uh, right. came through the red system, which the Yankees for the Chapman trade. So, very nice old concourse, reminds me of Indianapolis a bit. Definitely with these banners. Homer Bailey, Joey Votto, the Nacho Cantina. Get some nachos for $9.50. Get some Quesito, I don't know what that is. What is Quesito? Oh, they're cookies. Cookies, only two fifty. Not a bad deal at the ballpark. Well, as you can see here, downtown Louisville is within arm's reach. KFC Yum Center is right there, sticking out. Check out the uh, review in the link. Here's all the bridges that crisscross Louisville, the Ohio River. Baseball fans, make some noise for your Louisville Bats! All right, the Miller Time Tap House. This is uh, new. This was not here the last time. One of the major improvements. And I like what they did here. They made a simple little lounge area for fans to have a good time. Fans up above. Got some nice lounge seating. You got these awesome beer yards. They're becoming very popular among baseball fans. Nice. And we got another cool little bar here. Whoa, got a bee coming after me. And we got these curved little areas. It's kind of interesting how they have the list of beers on a piece of paper. So premium beer is 10, domestic is 9, cannon bottles are 8. 
Yeah. All right. The baseball bat. Got it. Oh, For old lady, not bad. <laughs> no, not too bad. You sharing that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who'd you have in mind? Well, I thought maybe you bring that back to some uh, family members, grandkids, parents. Oh, maybe a grandkid. Maybe. A grandkid. Yeah. <laughs> so right here, you get these nice, uh, comfortable cushioned seats, and you get to relax and watch the game. Nice shade. Get yourself a beer yard or a pint, and uh, stay stay cool while you watch the game. Right, kettle chips with beer, seven. Beer cheese bites, kettle chips, all nicely done. They're taken care of quite well. Once again, nice and shaded area. Not a lot of new spots for shaded areas, which is great to see. Just for kids, a nice little playground, I gotta say. It's climbing in. Got that nice uh, synthetic feel tire smell. So that's what it's made out of. You got the Ferris wheel over here. And these kids have no interest in baseball. They just want to have fun. And uh, that brings us to the right field corner, which also looks new since the last time we were here. And these kids are trying to catch a, an elusive foul ball or a home run. I guess it'll be a home run ball. How's it going? Waiting for a home run? Yeah. Or a foul ball? Yeah, we're going to try to catch one of these. We have a glove. All right, well, you got a lefty up, so hopefully he parks one over here. Well, I love the changes they did here in the right field area. You got these little kids trying to catch that elusive foul ball. They're right by the foul pole, so either going to get a home run or a foul ball. We do have a left handed batter up. Uh, I can't see his name. Well, I can see his name, but I can't pronounce it. There they are again. Say goodbye. Are you the I may be back later. We'll see. All right. But I like how they did this here. And this is a nice space to eat. Get the families out. Make sure he's nice and clean. So if you're a kid, you can grab one of these meals here, right? With the ticket. All right, so they're ready for you guys, so come on out. From all of us at the local Mass and the St. Paul Saints, we thank you so much for your let's, uh, well, let's go look at the bat. This is where I saw him the last time I was here. If you remember that video, check it out. All right, these look like player autograph jerseys when they wore the Redbirds, but they're 165 bucks. Be honest with you, they don't really look like official jerseys compared to what I'm used to. But maybe times have changed. Look at that Florida Leaf, that cool Louisville. Look over there. Here's the current red jerseys. This is what the team was before they became just the bats. They were the river bats and these were the colors. And if you want it, come and get it. And that's definitely a really nice logo. And that's 42 for the stretch fit. You can also get the mint julep hat, which is a nice uh, pink and silver minty green look. Here he is with the action going on behind us. Louisville's got a runner on first. He's giving us some good luck. And as you can see over here, these look like specialty seats. They're uh, padded a little bit differently. 
and these seats are burning hot. My butt is on fire right now. I gotta say this is my probably my favorite part of the ballpark uh, from right field all the way here it's much improved before you had um, picnic tables and you had like aluminum bleachers that were up above us and really didn't make any sense now this is a little more of a social area you have some bars some chairs a place to kind of hang out and even cool down and you still get this awesome view of the field from center field so much improvements over here in the overlook grill All right, so this is Mark, the ballpark hunter, saying to come out to Louisville Slugger Field next time you are in town or anywhere nearby. It's a beautiful place, and uh, you're going to have a good time. Uh, tickets are fairly cheap. Parking is a little bit higher than I expected, but you can find some cheaper spots along the street. So uh, take it from me, the ballpark hunter. This is Mark saying goodbye. Take care. Adios, and happy journey. videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.